Hello everyone, I just got my LFP 12 volt battery. So this is sort of a unboxing video and installation video. So I'm gonna install this LFP battery uh, onto my Atom 3. So basically, we have the manual. Um, I'm guessing this is the 12 volt charger in case the battery is low on charge, which hopefully it's not. <coughs> and the 12 volt battery itself. Uh, So the battery is 85% state of charge, as you can see from this LCD screen here. And the terminal lugs. And I'm guessing these are additional LED lugs to make it thicker. Yeah. So these are additional LED lugs to make the terminal thicker. And we'll see if we need this uh, later. Alright, let's head over to the front. Where we will install this. Uh, so this is my front of my Atto tree. There's some custom containers. This is actually for the Yen Plus. That's why it's messed up like this. I need to do some modification to remove them in the first place. So the battery packs right here. Okay, let me see. Uh, Get a standard pin with release. Yeah. So nothing's holding this thing. Such for this double check. Anything is holding the battery in. It should be easy to remove just by removing the lugs. This is a protective layer. Yeah, just wrapping around it to be removed. This is some velcro. That's just to remove that protective piece. And then the rest is just hardwired in. Okay. The attempt to remove the battery now. I'm guessing this is a size 10. Yeah. So let me bring up size 10. Um, actually there is a plate that is holding the battery in place which I can't really see it from the top um, but after fiddling around uh, I actually have to remove two additional nuts and a plate that is holding uh, the battery in place uh, they're actually battery nuts holding the battery in place let me remove those Also size 10. This plate is actually holding 
battery increase. There, we have removed the lead acid battery, so we will now let in the LFP battery. Okay. So I managed to dislodge that thing and let's put this pipe. Let's put back the battery cover. So we have the battery cover. Basically it. Now let's put it back in the compartments. Now these compartments were DIYing from the Yen Plus one because we are right hand drive. That's why I need to cut additional holes for the uh, wiper fluids and the brake fluids as well as additional hole here so that it fits. Then with additional stand of course. So it's a modification. And this part just sits right on top of the battery. And that's it. All done. Total fault battery swap completed. Okay, so let's check um the OVD scanner, see whether we get our voltages back up uh, after the battery swap. Right, so we do have our voltages, the OVD voltages which is at 13.3, 13.4. So this is back up to normal. Uh, previously before the 12 volt battery swap, this battery, this voltage actually fluctuates. Uh, between 12.5 to 13 about there and it fluctuates while driving and it's causing uh, basically phantom drain in my uh, high voltage battery so my high voltage battery is actually charging in 12 volt battery all the time so now the car is on if I just turn off the AC uh, it should be trying to charge the 12 volt battery to 100% so yeah, so it's drawing, now it's drawing uh, 1.9 1 amps from the high voltage just to charge that 12 uh, volt battery. So once that 12 volt battery reaches 100%, uh, it should stabilize. Okay, thank you all for watching.